Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to be dividing up 10 pounds of buffalo grass seed for the four prairies that we're planting this year. Oh, maybe I'll catch that as well. They're bailing up our pasture over there. This is the first year we've ever had it bailed. Those two boxes right there, even though they're different sizes, those two each hold five pounds of buffalo grass seed. And I need to divide that among four prairies that are vastly different sized. But I think I have it figured out. Okay, hopefully this works. I don't know why it wouldn't. I haven't used it in a couple of years, but... Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, zero. Now... Let me go get a bucket. All right. So, zero that out. And we'll open one of our boxes. I've purchased a lot of native grass seed over the years, but this is the first time purchasing from these people. They were a lot cheaper for buffalo grass. Buffalo grass can be very hard to find. This stuff is from Bamert Seed in Texas. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. Oh, that's a cool bag. All right. And this is primed, that green color. Now, let me show you. This is what I came up with in ounces. All of these add up to 160 ounces, which is 10 pounds. And we're going to start with the big one first. 72 ounces. So, let's zero that out again. Um, so what would that be? I got to figure this out in ounces. 72 ounces would be a little less than four pounds. So that's going to be most of this bag. Uh, let me see if I can change the units. I think it just goes between kilogram and pound. Now that's going to have to do for now. I should have figured that out. But we have you know, a little over four pounds and we need a little under four pounds. So put some back. Hmm. This is a pretty good scale. All right, another couple handfuls. And that should do it. Huh, didn't change it. All right, that's going to have to do it. And we'll 
we'll do the tear again. So, the next largest is 46.4 ounces. That's a little under three pounds. So, come on. A little under three pounds. Open the second box. And this does not have to be perfect. I just want it to be close. What I did was take a wheel measure and went around each one of the pastures and figured out the square feet of the pastures and divided that all up by how much seed I have, 10 pounds, and then divided that up by ounces each. But probably should have figured it a little different Okay, 1.9, so we need 48, oh, actually, this is a little more than 2 pounds. 2 pounds is 32 ounces, we need 35, okay, I don't know what the hell I was doing. I went way over. A little more than two pounds. I'm going to say about 2.2. Two. Ah, that'll do it right there. And I need to get one of these soaking tonight. And we'll go over that in a little bit. So, that's one, that's two. Zeroed, all right. Oh, I did this one here. I need to do the second largest, which is this one, is a little under three pounds. Oh boy. I had it right and I didn't know it. Okay, now this is our last one, and this is 6.4, so I don't know, that's less than a half. Almost at a pound there. We have some in here. So there must be a little extra seed. What are we at? It's like we got one pound too much. I don't know. Something's off, but. This is what we're going with. Yeah, the shop prairie is 6.4 ounces. 
which oh, that's about a third of a pound and we got 1.8 pounds there okay so the orchard that was 35 uh, two pounds is 32 so that was a little more than two pounds that was correct uh, 48 is three pounds so this is a little less than three pounds that was correct so okay so this is four and a half pounds let's see what let's see what we got yeah that's where it is this one needs to go to four and a half I don't want to run shy on these bigger prairies. Come on. All right. I don't know if this is recording the tear or not. Let's dump this into the box and zero it. Still seems like we got too much, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. Hopefully you're able to see the scale. Yeah, that's right. Okay, 0.75. It's still a little bit too much, but it's not like it was before. So this is all the seed that's going to go into the shop prairie that I've been working on the last couple days tilling. Not a whole heck of a lot of seed, but this stuff spreads really good. I'm hoping it spreads really much this year, but by the end of next year, this should have spread quite a bit. Okay, so this is the seed for the Triangle Prairie. This is Big Rock Prairie. This is the Orchard, which looks like the same amount, but it shouldn't be. Well, I think one's just a little over and one's a little under, what is it, three pounds? And... This is all of the seed for the shop prairie. Yeah, that's not a lot of seed. These seeds are really big. They're actually called burrs, and they're treated. I believe that's phosphorus. I'll try to put it on screen what it is. But what I do is soak these for about 24 hours before I plant them and then I mix them with sand, vermiculite, whatever. This year I got some vermiculite to do it with so I think I'll do probably a full bag for this one. Yeah, we'll see. But the vermiculite or whatever you use just extends it so that you don't throw everything all in one spot. It's still hard to not overseed one area and then have an area that's completely blank with this little bit of seed. But we'll have to do our best. I'm not getting any more seed this year. At least I hope not. All right, I'm going to add some water to this and then I got to get over there and amend. I'm just going to toss this down some peat this is organic gardening soil it's pretty much garbage i think it's like ground up pallets it's not really composted or anything it's just i don't know it's nasty we got some 201010 10. we're putting that down the peat and about half of that bag of perlite oh and gypsum the gypsum what that does is turns clay into nice soil. 
I put gypsum on there last year and it worked wonders on it. This one last application is going to make it perfect. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of the seeds out of these bags a little bit later. The buffalo grass seed, I'll show these labels really quick. The buffalo grass seed can go anywhere from, oh, like $100 a pound. I believe I paid $24 a pound for this. And I think I paid 30 some last year. Yeah, I, I paid $150 for a five pound bag last year. I do believe. I didn't buy from these people, I bought from somebody else. So it's expensive seed, but once it gets growing, this is some fantastic stuff. Let me show you what we got growing from last year real quick, and then we'll get back and add some water to that. Thought I'd show you this real quick. These purple eyelashes. This is Blue Grandma. This is a beautiful grass as well, but it doesn't grow quite as easy as the buffalo grass. I want to get everything established with some kind of short grass as quick as possible. And then I'm going to come back and plant a lot more of this, this Blue Grandma, because this stuff is just so awesome looking. All right, let's go take a look at that buffalo grass, which is right up here. The yellow stuff you see is dead foxtail. I sprayed this not too long ago. Most of it is either dead or dying, but I'll have to come back in here and spray one more time, I believe. I sprayed a pre-emergent on this as well, so at some point I shouldn't have to spray it all anymore. This has gone to flower. These are the male pollen heads, and the female parts are down lower on the plant. That's why the seed costs so much, because it's really hard to harvest this stuff. Yeah, I try to hand pull this nonsense whenever possible. But I will need to get in here and spray. You only got to do that for probably three years, maybe four years, until the bank of weed seeds is used up. Then you'll have a pretty pure stand of buffalo grass. Yeah, that's just beautiful. And you don't have to get in here and cut it or anything. So once it's established, once you got all this foxtail killed off and it's not coming back, it's very low maintenance. All right, what I want to do is cover this in water. I want the seeds floating in water. And just checking the temperature. should be good and like I said this is gonna sit till tomorrow about this time and then I'll pour off the excess water it may soak it all up I don't know let it sit till tomorrow mix it with vermiculite and then go toss it right now I got to go amend the area with all this stuff. I don't know if I'm going to show all that. I'll show a little bit and then we'll call this a day. I'll get back to you with a different video when we're doing the planting. Okay, for the most part, this is pretty good soil. A lot of this is the original slope, but as you get closer to the wall there, that's backfill and there's a lot of clay in it. So. More gypsum needs to go over there. We'll put gypsum on the entire area, but more of it's gonna go right by the wall. Basically, that's gonna be the same for all of this stuff. This soil right here is gonna grow buffalo grass really well, but we'll get a little bit of the peat and a little bit of this, uh, whatever this is called, organic gardening mix. 
and again we have this i'll probably pretty evenly spread this on the entire thing well we'll just start with this all right let's go do this All right, now for the gypsum. I have a bag with a big hole in it, so it's just gonna be kind of clumsy. got in here. I'm gonna have to get these clumps out of here. I'll show you the melted stuff as soon as I toss this. Another big lump of it. Just great. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is melted. I believe I'm gonna take that stuff and Put it in a bucket and throw some water in it and see what happens. I should be able to use it as a liquid. This is what the melted stuff looks like. Looks like clay. That's really bizarre. So, like I said, I'm gonna put this in a bucket and melt it and apply it as a liquid at some other time. Kinda looks like poop but it doesn't smell like poop. Yeah, I've had this sitting around for a couple of years. The camera overheated. Don't know how much of that got recorded, but I've had this bag for two or three years and the mice ate that little hole in it and it was in the greenhouse, so water was getting into it yeah that's all right i have to move fast before the camera shuts off again it keeps shutting off because it's getting too hot this thing is hot enough to fry an egg on it has to do with the processor and the temperature out here all right i wet this whole thing down pretty darn good already soaked in pretty much over here and I ended up over there. I'm gonna come back out here in probably about an hour and start raking this. Once I get it nice and uniform, that's it for today and I'll come back tomorrow, toss my seed and then rake it again, rake the seed in. Okay, I tried to rake and even with sprinkling here, the dirt was just hard as a rock. I'm gonna have to put the sprinkler on it for at least an hour, and it's gonna be nearly dark at that time, so I'm gonna have to do this tomorrow. What I'm gonna do is just seed it and rake the seed in, and I'll be done here. So what I'm gonna do is just get back with you tomorrow. We'll get this planted, and I'll wrap up the video then. Once I get this done, I'm gonna have to move the sprinkler over there, and we'll start on that the day after. Tomorrow, first thing, I'm gonna start soaking the batch of seeds for this, and then we'll get this watered tomorrow, 
and then the day after tomorrow we'll get this seeded then we have one more to do before i have to go on vacation and when we get back we're going to do the orchard here hopefully i'm getting this stuff here yeah we're getting it this is gonna have to sit for a good hour we got about oh maybe two hours till dark i don't want to flood this out i don't want mud here but it can't be as hard as it is right now raking is just impossible okay i'll meet you right back here tomorrow morning okay here's what happened it's the next day i was out taking the dogs for a walk and i noticed that there was a big chunk of shade this was like I don't know, 7.30 in the morning. Big chunk of shade along the side over there. So when I got done with the walk, I put the dogs in the house and thought, well, I'll just get that part that's in the shade and get it raked up. So I came out here, started raking, and I finished the whole thing. So now I went in and cooled off a bit. It's getting really hot already. But I think I'm just going to go right ahead and seed this and get it raked in and be done with it. So what I got to do is pour the excess water off of this. Yeah, that certainly doesn't seem like a lot of seeds, but it is what it is. These plants, these buffalo grass plants, one single plant will put out, I believe they said it can be like 10 stolons, and it's like the spider plants that we used to have back in the day. They have tiny little plants all along like a stem, and each one of those can turn into another plant. So although I'm going to have to fight off the weeds because this is going to be a little bit on the sparse side it will plant the entire area all right i think i'll be able to use this i looked it up last night what the coating was on this stuff and it's potassium nitrate and for those of you who aren't aware potassium nitrate is saltpeter it's what they use to make gunpowder and explosives and stuff not not that you can use this for gunpowder or explosives or anything but what it does is it softens up this hard nut and it promotes germination But it's also a fertilizer, so I'm going to mix this up with water and spray it somewhere. It's probably a little too strong the way it is. Okay, I want this as dry as possible. It'll make tossing the seed a lot easier. This sat overnight, but I generally let it soak for about 24 hours, but I've already let a batch soak for two days, and it was just fine. So anywhere from overnight to two days. All right, now I'm going to add some vermiculite. I'm going to run out of vermiculite really soon. I'm going to run out of vermiculite pretty quick. I only got three bags. And with this little batch right here, I'm going to want to put a full bag in it. So Vermiculite 
will soak up the remaining water. Got to get this mixed up really well. And if you haven't seen this before, what this is going to do is just extend the seeds once this is mixed up really well. If you just go in there with that tiny little bit of seed and try tossing the seed, you're going to have all the seed tossed within a few feet. This just makes it a little bit easier to spread the seed over a large area. This is still not very much. I would actually like to do two bags of the vermiculite, but that's going to start getting too expensive. And I'll just work with this and make it work. So what you do is cut this in half and do one half going one way, call it horizontally, and do the other half vertically. And hopefully you really only need one of these plants growing per 12 inches, a 12 inch spot, like say an area the size of the opening here. One plant in the middle of that is going to spread and fill the opening. Like I said, you're going to have weed problems until it fills in, but it's a way to make a little bit of seed go a long way. And you can also take the little plants on the stolen and like push a pencil into the ground and then push the base of those into it to get them started and fill in those spots really quick or cut the stolons off and put them into trays start them in trays okay now i need another bucket to cut this in half and then we'll get to planting bit of dirt in there. A little bit of dirt never hurt anything. Okay, that's about even. Yeah, this tiny little bit of seed over that area is going to be really hard to do. But like I said, it will work if I get this spread even. All right, let's go do it. All right, that went real well. This is the first time I've ever done this where I actually covered the entire area that I'm trying to plant with the seed I have available. Usually I run out about halfway. I'm trying to see what my seed spacing is. So we got one there, one there, 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 there. Got plenty of nooks and crannies for it to get into. There, there. And that was the first pass. 
So, so far it's looking real good. I have a pretty broad coverage and once I go through with this second pass, I think I'm going to be good as gold. Then I'll go through and rake it real light. I only want them to be between a quarter and a half inch under the dirt. I don't want any on top of the dirt, but they will germinate on top of the dirt. I've seen it in my other patch over there. So no matter what, we're going to get grass here, but covering them by a quarter to a half inch is going to assure the best germination rate. Okay, that was the horizontal pass. Now, I believe this had a little more in it, so we'll see. I think it's covered really well already, but yeah, this should do it. Okay, yeah, the trick is having enough vermiculite. I'm going to have to have my daughter pick up some more, probably three more bags, because the bigger plots are going to be a little harder to do. Yeah, I got to come back, pick up all these rocks and that thing over there, those boards and those metal things on this side. A lot more work to do, but I'm not going to do all that in this video. I'll probably just do that off video. Okay, let's get the rest of this in and get her raked up. That is going to wrap up the shop prairie. What I'm doing now is watering this for maybe an hour. Looks like I got to adjust that. I need to get it down here as well. Then I'm going to shut this off and either later tonight or perhaps tomorrow, I'll go in there and like step this down, make sure every seed is in intimate contact with the ground. Then I only need to water every once in a while, probably every two, three days until this stuff sprouts. And then we're off to the races from there. All right, so next I'm gonna be raking these leaves out of here and working on this. This is the Big Rock Prairie and will be the next prairie to be planted. So. If you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. 
If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.